Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we are going to be going over three separate things, and the first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The second thing that we're actually going to cover is all the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by showing you right where you can find Madame Nazar for today. And Madame Nazar's location is up in the Grizzlies East, just north of Moonstone Pond and a little bit uh, west of Okray's Run. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Now your fast travel destination of choice will be either Emerald Station or your Moonshine Shack, depending on whatever one is closer. But those are going to be the two closest uh, fast travel locations. But again, if this is the only thing that you guys came for, you know what to do. But honestly, I recommend that you guys stay around for the entire video. But uh, a like really does go a long way. It shows that you guys really support this type of content. Support me as a content creator. And honestly, if it helped you guys out, it could probably help out some other people by you just leaving a like on this video so that it can get promoted to more people looking for the same type of information that originally brought you guys here. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. And that is going to be talking about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Now, I like to go after the coins and the lost jewelry just because you do make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. $540 per hour takes about three to three and a half hours worth of time. But you do need the field shovel and also the metal detector in order to collect these sets. So just bear that in mind. So coins are going to be a part of cycle number four. And the lost jewelry will be a part of cycle number three. Now the next two sets I'm about to go over will also require the field shovel and or the metal detector. We got arrowheads at cycle number three. And then the family heirlooms are at cycle number one. The next four sets I'm about to go over don't even have to be a collector at all in order to collect them. However, you're not going to be able to sell them unless you have the collector bag. So make sure that you guys purchase that as soon as you possibly can because the collector rule will make you so much money here in Red Dead Online. And you guys will definitely be pleased that you purchased it in the long run. So American Wildflowers at cycle number six. We have the tarot cards at cycle number four. We have the antique alcohol bottles at cycle number five and the bird eggs at cycle number three. All right, so now it's time to go over the daily challenges. Now, the first thing that we are going to go over is just the entire list, and then we're going to break them down in detail. So let's go ahead and start that right now. We've got uh, five canned foods eaten, 10 fish caught, one horse appearance updated, three player headshot kills in posse versus, three posse races completed, one visited Lagros, and then the last one for the daily general challenges is three weapons cleaned with gun oil. We have a distance of 15,830 by delivery wagon while on a mission. This is specifically going to be for the trader roll. We have 20 donations to Crips, two goods sold to a local buyer, one antique alcohol bottle, drank, uh, two collectibles found with a metal detector, three collectibles found with a shovel, two bounties brought in from New Austin posters, three bounty targets looted, two bounties brought down with a bullas, two crafted toxic moonshine, one drank own strong moonshine, and then last but not least, we have two played with the band two minutes. So you have to do that two times. All right, so through the daily challenges, in my opinion, is the best way of earning gold here in Red Dead Online. You can earn up to 11 gold bars every single day, unless there's some kind of bonus to like the showdown like we had a couple weeks ago. Then by all means, participate in the showdown events because it's definitely worth it at that point in time. You can earn 11 gold bars every single day. There are two requirements that are in order to get that um, amount of gold. Number one is to have a daily challenge streak of completing at least one daily challenge for 21 days in a row, then maintaining one going forward. And then the next requirement is to make sure that you guys have all the current roles and be at least a rank 10 in each of those roles in order to make the most amount of gold as possible. All right, so let's just kind of break this down. We've got five camp foods eat. Now, you guys can find canned foods pretty much uh, in different places around the world. Uh, the Strawberry Welcome Center is a great place to go and find some stuff. Otherwise, there's lots of homesteads and a lot of other places that you guys can go inside of. And then you're, there's a lot of good chances you'll find 
from jewelry to items to whatever it might be. So that's first and foremost. But all you have to do is pull up your weapon wheel and go over to whatever canned foods that you have. So in this case, I got a ton of canned pineapples. Otherwise, you can always go to the general store and purchase some of these or purchase them from the catalog. But this is ultimately all you need to do. And this one's super simple. That's already three right there. We got four. And then this one should be number five. And that's an easy half gold bar for eating just a few canned food items. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. We got five or ten fish caught. Doesn't matter how you catch them. You can use live bait. You can use bread, cheese, whatever. It does not matter. You can use the lures. Personally, I'm going to be using the special spinner just because attracts the majority of the fish relatively easy and you don't have to worry about re um rebaiting the line every time that you do that um, i don't remember exactly what rank you have to be in order to collect that but i definitely recommend that you guys purchase it as soon as you can because once you purchase it it will never break you have the chance of losing fish but if the fish snaps the line you actually never lose the lure which will make the 10 fish caught relatively easy and then just go to any body of water obviously we got uh, one horse appearance updated. You can go to one of the many stables and then just change something on the horse. You can change like the color of your tail uh, or change the color of your mane or you can braid your tail, whatever you're going to do or change the length of your mane, whatever, whatever really you want to do. As long as it is actually um, the horse appearance. You have stables in uh, Tumbleweed. You've got one in Strawberry, one in Blackwater, Valentine. Um, a little bit north of Rhodes, and then obviously one down in Saint Denis, and there is one north of Van Horn as well. We got three player headshot kills with posse versus, and I think there was another posse. Yeah, uh, so there's two daily challenges that revolve around being in a posse. So you will need at least one other player inside of your posse, or you'll have to join another posse. Then whoever that leader is will basically start a posse infighting or a posse race. Either one. We'll obviously count towards the daily challenges for today. You'll have to, you could probably do the infighting in one go, but then you'll have to do three separate posse races, which just basically means that you have to put a waypoint a decent amount of distance away from you, but not incredibly far. Um, and then just basically race. And it doesn't matter who wins or loses because it will, you'll both get counted towards that three posse races. And then this take turns taking, uh, getting player headshots in the posse and fighting. Now, for whatever reason, if it's grayed out and you're not able to participate in it, what you're going to want to do is join a brand new session, either your friend or you can do it. And then you invite the other person that's not currently in the new lobby. And then you should be able to do the posse um, stuff, no problem. Then the next one is to visit Lagra. So you can just go to the fast travel post or if you're close to it, then just ride through it. And you're going to get that one super, super simple. And then three weapons cleaned with gun oil. If you guys go to the Strawberry Welcome Center, like I was mentioning earlier, you can actually find two gun oil just in that one location and then or you can purchase them um from the catalog or you can purchase it from the weaponsmith or whatever you guys really want to do general store whatever it doesn't matter uh so there's a couple different variations of how you guys can obtain the gun oil and then all you have to do is whatever gun is a little bit um a little bit low um so my lancaster is eh we'll just maintain it real quick oh that's not the one i wanted I wanted the Lancaster. And then all you have to do is just give it a clean. And then you have to hold down the appropriate button in order to clean it. Otherwise, you can just do it a little bit slower by uh, letting it just go. All right, let's go to move on to the daily roll challenges for today. We've got a distance of 15,830 by delivery wagon while in mission. This is going to be equivalent to two distant deliveries. So this is going to take a lot of time, probably 20 to 20 minutes to a half an hour just to complete that one because you have to do the distance delivery twice. But you have two goods sold to a lo local buyer, so I would definitely recommend participating in this one. This will take probably under than under five minutes. And then uh, hopefully you have a full 100 goods good to go. And then you can have your posse friend help you guys sell it, and then they'll get half of whatever uh, you make from it. Or you can end up being the helping party and... Um, that should help you guys out as well. Then 20 donations to Crips. I like to use feathers because there's flight feathers. You know, you have all the different types of bird feathers that you guys can donate. And each individual bird will count towards different um, types of feathers. But then flight feathers are obtained by every type of bird. So that makes it pretty easy to donate 
20 flight feathers right off the bat. Uh, the next one is to drink an antique alcohol bottle. We can actually pull up our satchel, just go on over to our antique alcohol bottles right here, and then just go ahead and drink one. And there we go. That's another half a gold bar. Pretty easy. So not the daily challenges for today actually do not seem like they're very tough at all. We have two collectibles found with a metal detector and three collectibles found with a shovel. I would actually go after at least three coins, preferably doing the whole entire coin collection set because you'll make $540 doing that. It will take about an hour of your time, um, but that way you can actually get both of these completed at the exact same time. So you'll get the metal detector and then the shovel done exact same time. We have two bounties brought in from new Austin po posters, which is where we're currently at. So it's either going to be Arm um, Armadillo, Tumbleweed, or Benedict Point are the three locations that you guys can uh, do the new Austin bounties from. Then you have to loot the target. So before you bring them in and drop them off, it doesn't matter if it's at a bounty wagon or if it's at um, the sheriff's station, just loot them before you actually do that. And then last but uh, sorry, last but not least for the for the bounty hunter role, I'm so used to the bounty hunter role being at the bottom of the entire list. And we got two bounty targets brought down with the bullas. So what I would do, two from New Austin, take them down with bullas, hog tie them, and loot them. They can all be done virtually together. And what's nice about doing the bounty hunting role, it's the only role that does pay out additionally in gold, which is pretty fantastic. We have to craft two toxic moonshine today. Uh, so. You do have to buy the pamphlet. So if you don't currently have the pamphlet and you didn't purchase it when it was 50, like 40 or 50% off and you don't have the money, I would recommend just skipping this one for the time being until you have the money and have purchased the other things that you really want to obtain inside of Red Dead Online because otherwise it's really not worth it in my opinion because the only time that you're really going to craft Toxic Moonshine anyway is specifically for the daily challenge. The next one is to drink or drank your own strong moonshine. So as long as you got strong moonshine brewing completed or whatever, you're going to be able to get this one done relatively easy. And then you have to play with the BAM for two minutes, two separate times, but you can do this all at one time. So it's going to take four minutes to do that. The nice thing about playing with the BAM is once you actually start playing, you don't even have to hold down a button and it will allow you to continue playing with the BAM so you can get yourself a beverage, a snack, or whatever it might be. And by the time you probably come back, that one will be all done and complete for you. So you could just walk away and get 0.5 gold bars. Pretty easy peasy. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, then by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. I also do live stream every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you guys want to make sure that you join me on those live streams, we stream a variety of games here on the channel. It's a great way to interact with a lot of other people. Maybe check out a new game that you've never seen before and just kind of have a good time. Uh, those times are going to be posted on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. I do change those up every once in a while, but if you are looking at my website either Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, that time that I have posted is the correct time that I will be going live on YouTube. So there's always that. I also have memberships here on the channel. If you guys would like to further support me as a content creator, any help towards supporting me as a content creator is definitely appreciated. So definitely go ahead and do that. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.